What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we will be doing our second double career simulation. Today's video will be on two of Buffalo's young forwards, Dylan Cousins and Jack Quinn. Jack Quinn was drafted by the Buffalo Sabres in the most recent NHL entry draft at 8th overall. He's yet to suit up for the Sabres but he did tear up the OHL in his time with the Ottawa 67s and so far in 6 AHL games this year he has himself two assists. One year prior to Jack Quinn getting drafted, Dylan Cousins was selected 7th overall by the Buffalo Sabres back in the 2019 NHL entry draft. Cousins already seemed promising enough as it was heading into this season and he furthered his case with an amazing World Juniors run this year where he had 8 goals and 8 assists for 16 points. This was good enough to be Team Canada's top scorer in the tournament and land a spot with the Buffalo Sabres full time. He has played 19 games with the god awful Buffalo Sabres this year and in them has 3 goals and 2 assists for 5 points. I wouldn't say the future is bright in Buffalo but these two guys are looking to be some pretty solid pieces in the future. Anyway as always today we will be simulating their careers year by year and checking in on their stats as well as if they win any awards. Boards. I will be controlling a different team than the Sabres and having it so that the CPU controls everything. Now let's get into the simulation and see where these guys are starting at. So Cousins and Quinn are both starting off in the AHL with the Rochester Americans. Dylan Cousins is starting off on the first line at center at a 78 overall with medium elite potential. He has some decent stats to start with and they include 85 speed, 85 offensive awareness, and 83 passing. Jack Quinn is starting on the third line at right wing for the Americans and is starting at 69 overall. He has medium top six potential and some of his stats include 90 discipline, 84 speed, and 83 shooting power. These stats may seem low for now, but I'm sure they will grow just fine. Now let's head into year number one of this simulation. So in year number one, Dylan Cousins ends up getting called up to the Buffalo Sabres and helps the team finish second in the NHL and break the massive playoff drought. They don't last long, sadly, and the Florida Panthers take them out in seven games. Dylan Cousins' rookie season saw him playing 77 games and put up 18 goals and 22 assists for 40 points in the regular season. He was very good come playoff time as well, and he had two goals and five assists for seven points in seven games. He increases up to an 82 overall, and the Calder Trophy ends up going to Kirill Kaprizov. After breaking the drought in year number one, the Sabres in year number two missed the playoffs as they fall to 18th in the NHL. Dylan Cousins built off last season and in his sophomore year had 21 goals and 29 assists for 50 points on the year. He jumped up to an 85 overall. Also, Jack Quinn does get called up about halfway through the season and in 43 games had a goal and six assists for seven points. Jack Quinn increases up to a 76 overall and did not win the Calder as that went to Quinton Byfield of the LA Kings. The Sabres kinda got screwed in year 3 as they finished 15th in the NHL, but it still wasn't enough to make the playoffs. Dylan Cousins in the final year of his rookie deal had 30 goals and 31 assists for 61 points on the year. Jack Quinn did not play for the Sabres at all this season and spent the season in the AHL. Anyway, Cousins stays put at 85 overall, and in the offseason Dylan Cousins re-signs with the Sabres on a 5 year deal worth $5.5 million per year. After making the playoffs in year one, it seems the Sabres wanted to start a new drought as they finished 27th in the NHL and missed the playoffs for the third straight season here in year number four. Dylan Cousins' first year on his new deal was a step back as he had just 17 goals and 31 assists for 48 points on the year. With this, he remains at 85 overall. Jack Quinn played basically the entire season up with the Sabres and in 78 games had six goals and seven assists for 13 points. He jumps up to a 79 overall and in the offseason signed a one-year, $1 million deal with the Buffalo Sabres. The Sabres got screwed again as they finished 14th in the NHL and it somehow wasn't enough to get in the playoffs once again. Dylan Cousins bounces back with 24 goals and 48 assists for 72 points on the year, which puts him up to an 86 overall. Jack Quinn on the other hand struggled once again and in 46 games had just 5 goals and 3 assists for 8 points. He jumped up to an 81 overall and again signed with the Sabres on another 1 year $1 million deal. The Sabres finally put together a good season, finishing 7th in the NHL and making the playoffs. In them, they go on a decent run as well that sees them lose to the New Jersey Devils in the Eastern Conference Finals. Dylan Cousins' regular season had him with 21 goals and 37 assists for 58 points. Jack Quinn again struggled and had just 2 goals and 4 assists for 6 points in 13 games. He does not appear in the playoffs for the Sabres and he remains at 81 overall. Dylan Cousins did appear in the playoffs and in them was solid with 4 goals and 9 assists for 13 points. He increased up to an 88 overall and the Sabres re-signed Jack Quinn for two more years at $840,000 per year.
For the second straight season, the Sabres are in the playoffs, this time after finishing eighth in the NHL. In the playoffs, they don't have as good of a run as they did the year before, and they end up losing to the Leafs in six games. Dylan Cousins puts up 23 goals and 38 assists for 61 points in the regular season, and Jack Quinn managed to play the full regular season up with the Buffalo Sabres. His regular season saw him with 10 goals and 9 assists for 19 points. In the playoffs, both players did end up doing absolutely nothing with 0 points. Cousin remains at 88 overall and loses his elite potential, and as for Jack Quinn, he ends up remaining at 81 overall. The Sabres have another great season, finishing 7th in the NHL and making the playoffs once again. In them, they fail to go as far as they did last year, and the Sens take care of them in just 5 games. Dylan Cousins misses some time due to injury, but in the 72 games he played in, he had 17 goals and 47 assists for 64 points. Jack Quinn had a better season for his standards, and in it scored 12 goals and 18 assists for 30 points. In the playoffs, Cousins had 4 points and increased up to a 90 overall. Jack Quinn, for the second straight playoffs, had 0 points and again stayed put at 81 overall. In the offseason, both players re-signed with the Sabres, Cousins on a 6-year $58.8 million deal, and Quinn on a 2-year $6.3 million deal. Buffalo again is a top 10 team in the NHL as they finish 8th overall and make the playoffs again where they lose in the conference finals to the Carolina Hurricanes. Dylan Cousins once again led in points out of the two and put up 23 goals and 58 assists for 81 points. Jack Quinn had another step forward this year and had 15 goals and 29 assists for 44 points. In the deep run, Cousins had 6 goals and 11 assists for 17 points and remained at 90 overall. Jack Quinn struggled a bit more in the postseason and had a goal and an assist for 2 points. We do end up seeing Jack Quinn grow to an 83 overall overall. The Buffalo Sabres end up finishing 11th in the league and making the playoffs for the 5th straight year. The playoffs are a nightmare sadly and they get swept by the Florida Panthers in the first round. Dylan Cousins had a huge season with 19 goals and 66 assists for 85 points. Jack Quinn had a really good season as well with 20 goals and 43 assists for 63 points. In the brutal playoff run, Cousins had just one goal and remained at 90 overall. Jack Quinn had just an assist and increases up to an 85. This was the last year of his deal and in the offseason he got paid big time on a 4 year $34.2 million dollar deal. So 10 years into this simulation now, Dylan Cousins has played 797 NHL games, scored 213 goals and 407 assists for 620 career points so far. He is a career plus 56 and is yet to win any awards. He's been very solid so far for the Sabres, but like the team, he is lacking hardware and hopefully that changes soon. On the other side of things, Jack Quinn, 10 years into the simulation, has played in 508 NHL games, scored 71 goals and 119 assists for 190 points so far. He's a career minus 47 and is also yet to win any awards. Awards. Jack Quinn was struggling a lot early on, but it seems like he has turned things around, and hopefully with that, and Cousins playing like he has, the Sabres can get a cup soon. Buffalo proved once again to be a playoff team as they finish 16th in the NHL and like almost every season they fall in the first round, this time to the Habs in 5 games. Dylan Cousins has a massive regular season with 24 goals and 67 assists for 91 points. Jack Quinn had another decent year as well with 20 goals and 32 assists for 52 points. In the playoffs it is Jack Quinn stepping up more out of the two as he had 5 assists which is good enough to keep him at 85 overall. Dylan Cousins playoffs saw him finish with 3 assists and he remains at a 90 overall. The Sabres finish 10th in the league and are back in the playoffs once again. In them, they get out of the first round, but they sadly end up losing in the second round to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Dylan Cousin this year cooled off a bit and had just 27 goals and 51 assists for 78 points in the regular season. Jack Quinn, similar to last year, had 50 points after scoring 12 goals and 38 assists. In the playoffs, Dylan Cousins was a point per game with 5 goals and 5 assists for 10 points. Cousin remained at 90 overall, and Jack Quinn had an additional 5 points in the playoffs. Despite this, he drops back to an 84 overall. Buffalo finishes 17th in the NHL and misses out on the playoffs here in year number 13. For the first time in this simulation, Jack Quinn outscored Dylan Cousins. Jack Quinn put up 26 goals and 42 assists for 68 points and jumped up to an 86 overall. Dylan Cousins was right behind him with 16 goals and 51 assists for 67 points on the year. Dylan Cousins remains at 90 overall as they both head into the final year of their current deal.
For the second straight season, the Buffalo Sabres miss out on the playoffs as this year they finished 27th in the league. Dylan Cousins bounced back despite the team not doing well and he potted 41 goals and 55 assists for 96 points on the year. Even though this was his career best season, he does drop to an 89 overall. Jack Quinn just misses the 60 point mark after scoring 20 goals and 39 assists for 59 points and dropped down to an 85 overall. In the offseason, the Sabres signed both of them to three year deals. Dylan Cousins is making 10.5 million per year and Jack Quinn making 6.8 million per year. After just getting signed at the beginning of year 15, both Dylan Cousins and Jack Quinn got traded to the Ottawa Senators. They sadly don't help the Sens too much as they finish 29th in the NHL and miss out on the playoffs. In their first year with the Sens, Dylan Cousins had 15 goals and 37 assists for 52 points and dropped all the way back down to an 85 overall. Jack Quinn, like Cousins, took a step back and had just 13 goals and 26 assists for 39 points. He dropped to an 83 overall and hopefully the Sens turn things around soon. The struggles continue for the Sens as they finish 28th in the NHL and obviously miss the playoffs once again. In 74 games, Dylan Cousins had 15 goals and 35 assists for 50 points and dropped to an 84 overall. Jack Quinn, like the earlier years of the Sim, played in just 33 games and had 8 goals and 10 assists for 18 points. He dropped to an 82 overall as they both head into the final year of their current deals. For the third year with the Senators, Jack Quinn and Dylan Cousins didn't help them make the playoffs for the third straight season as they finished 20th in the league. Cousins fell off a lot and at 36 years old put up 16 goals and 23 assists for 39 points while dropping to an 81 overall. Jack Quinn played in more games this year than last year and in the 78 he did play in he had 11 goals and 9 assists for 20 points. He drops to an 80 overall and in the offseason the Sens brought the two back for another year, Jack Quinn making $1.8 million and Dylan Cousins making $3.7 million. So the Ottawa Senators at the trade deadline split up Cousins and Jack Quinn for the first time in this simulation as they traded Jack Quinn to the Carolina Hurricanes. He helped the Hurricanes finish third in the NHL and make the playoffs where they lost in the second round to the Washington Capitals. In the regular season, Jack Quinn had 19 goals and 13 assists for 32 points. Of those stats, just four goals and two assists happened when he was a Hurricane. In the playoffs, he was alright with a goal and two assists for three points. He ends up increasing in overall and is now at an 81. After the season, he ends up signing back with the Hurricanes organization on a one year $2.6 million deal. Back in Ottawa, they have an okay year that season finishing 16th in the NHL but missing out on the playoffs. Dylan Cousins played in just 60 games and put up 12 goals and 21 assists for 33 points. He dropped to a 79 overall and decides to call it a career and retire. So Dylan Cousins ends his career with 1,379 NHL games played, 379 goals scored, and 747 assists for 1,126 career points. He was a career plus 80 and was usually solid in the playoffs. Sadly, his team could never get it done. Good career, just nothing to show for it. Now let's get back to Jack Quinn and see if he could help the Canes win the Stanley Cup. Carolina has a good regular season, finishing 7th in the NHL and once again making the postseason. The playoffs are as good as they can be and Jack Quinn and the Carolina Hurricanes go on to win the Stanley Cup. Stanley Cup champion Jack Quinn in 71 regular season games had 11 goals and 16 assists for 27 points and on his way to the Cup had 7 playoff points. He drops to a 77 overall and decides to call it a career and retire. So in 1,180 NHL games, Jack Quinn scored 211 goals and 344 assists for 555 career points. He took a while to get going and became a solid second and third line forward. He didn't win any personal awards, but he got the greatest prize of them all with the Stanley Cup in the last year of his career. So there you guys have it, Dylan Cousins and Jack Quinn's career simulated here on NHL 21. Buffalo Sabres did not win a cup in this simulation, and it's not looking like it's going to happen this year in real life. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.